you all see what I added to the wash house? I think it's really cute. It only cost me a couple dollars. I think it's really cute. It just accents the wash house so much better. I still have to work on. So what I'm going to do is just rake everything and just pull the weeds. And then I can call this project finished. So I have this side of the house and over there where the well is. And you can see that all that green is all kinds of herbs, which I will be doing many videos on, as you know. Well, let me finish this up and then we'll have a little talk at the end of the video. So I wanted to show you what I found. I found some black spray paint. And so I painted this black. And you won't believe how beautiful it looks back here. It's white. It just looks so pretty. So I think it's pretty neat. Just a little bit of paint and it makes something so old look so Feels much newer. Down the spell. Whew. It's a lot of work, especially when you get older. A lot of you would say I'm still very young, but I sure feel a lot older than I did a couple years ago. I hope this video encourages you that, you know, it's not about the big picture. It's about doing little things in life and that I know things can get so overwhelming and when you see work that needs to be done and you want to do it and you realize that you're older and you realize that you don't have the strength like you used to. I want you to know that you just do little steps. Write down little things. Like I said in Tuesday's video, write down small ideas and small chores. Break it down into smaller pieces. Don't house clean your whole big living room at one time, but maybe go by drawer by drawer or closet by closet or flower bed by flower bed. And before you know it, your work is done. This is a wonderful time of the year, but it's a time of the year we have a lot of work. And I'm so thankful that my husband was able to mow and trim things up. And now it's my job to go ahead and weed everything. And there's a lot of weeds in the springtime. But it feels good. It feels good to get out and do some work if you don't overdo it. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think what I'm going to do from different videos I'm going to share with you what I'm doing that day and then we're going to sit down and have a little talk. We'll have a little talk about, you know, the things that we thought about this day and the things that we did and I think that that would be enjoyable to you all as well. I really enjoy this time of year. My house is relatively small. It's a thousand square feet. That's including the out porch, which we don't live in it. So it's, it's small to some people. and. Just being outside just opens up a whole new world of things you can do and just to be able to relax. And so I thank you guys for watching because I'm rambling on and on. You know I like to talk to all of you for praying for me, praying for my channel and praying that those that come to our channel would be touched in a way and that their lives would be transformed. I don't talk a whole lot about things like this, but at the end of this video I just wanted to thank everyone for welcoming all of the new people. You know, every day there's new people coming and going to my channel. And I really want to thank you guys for that because I see my channel as an outreach. I see my channel as a way for people to connect with one another and to lift each other up and a place where people can just really feel at peace and at home here. And you've all have done that. So I thank you guys so much for all of that. And we continue to share our lives with one another and we continue to bless one another and we continue to help and encourage one another. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Once again, it's time for Fanny's Diary and we are on May 10th, 1943. It was a cool day. Marion gave me a cushion for Mother's Day.